Hello, everybody. My name is Lady Onassi, and we are back with the inner world. Um, we're in this creepy forest. Um, we found out that Conroy is not such a nice guy. Very, uh, Frollo-esque from, uh, Hunchback of Neuroshadam. Um, not the good guy that, um the good guy um poor robert thought he was um so we're here in i believe it's called the brazilian forest um we have traps i could cross it but then i'd be dead <laughs> i could cross it but then i'd be dead very matter of fact connor i love him all right that's what she meant by helmet all right so now i've got a helmet can I have that back? It doesn't want to give it up. And its teeth look pretty sharp. Okay. Ooh. It's called a tumble mouse. Hi, baby. Too high. Okay. Tree. Huge fruits are hanging up there. All if right. I take it now, a fruit will definitely fall on my head. Well, then put on the helmet. That could be fun. Okay, what if you put the helmet on? Okay, what if we did a thorn bush? A thorn bush. Conroy had many of these on his... Okay, what if you... That could be fun. Okay, tree fruit. They're hanging... To if I kick it now. Okay, but if you put that Why should I on your head, then it won't fall. What if we oh debris? My gosh, even the splitters are shattered. There's nothing useful. Okay. What if we take out the monster? Come on, spit that old liar out. Gucci go! So, what are you then? Hello, my little. Can I pet you? Hello, young fella. The answer to your first question is I am a gorf. The answer to your second question is No, not unless you wish to die a cruel death. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were able to talk. No problem. Not many know I can. Most of the people who ever got to know me are dead. Actually, all of them are. Um... You should know that 96% of my body consists of lethal poisons. Oh my god. Yes. I live safeguarded, but one becomes a bit lonely after a while. Oh. He's like a... But he's like a pirate, kind of. Like, his accent is very piratey. I like him. He's a gorf. All right. Talk to me about these traps. Did you set up these traps here? Why would I do that? I'm a leaf creature all on my own. But who else could have done it? Oh, that was a crazy old man who lives here in the forest. For a holy man, he exhibits an exceptional creativity when it comes to the killing of intruders. A holy man? Does that mean he's a wind monk? A uh, former wind monk. His fountain dried up. Oh. I suspect he still hasn't gotten over it. Um, okay. Why does he set up traps? Does he not want to be found? Oh, who knows what a crazy lost soul wants? Last time I saw him, he was blabbering about some secret place in the forest that he has to protect. That's where we want to go. Super. Now we only have to get past these traps. Well, good luck then. You might as well try to kiss a gorf. <laughs> no, honestly. Nobody has ever kissed me before, you know. Oh. Huh. Kissing's fun. I like it. Well, if they're a good kisser. Hmm. The trap system doesn't seem to be very sophisticated. Indeed. 
But the crazy old man who set them up is an advocate of efficiency. So... They're not clever, but fatal. Okay. They're not clever, but they're fatal. All right, let's talk about the danger. I like the sign. It says, trespassers will be shot. Thank you for your understanding. Danger, hazardous traps. So at least it's warning you. So, um, would you describe yourself as poisonous? <clears throat> it's the primary self-defense mechanism of my species. Gotcha. So, you can survive in the root forest, even though it's so dangerous. <laughs> to speak the truth here, what makes the root forest so dangerous is the wolves. But what is so dangerous about you? In principle, everything. I secrete a deadly corrosive fluid. My tail is a club of death. Don't even get me started about my claws. <laughs> They can sink into anything softer than diamond. Boy, could go on forever. Okay. Um, cool. let's talk about your secretion. What exactly is a secretion? A bodily fluid. Everything that one can secrete. For example, my skin and my saliva are extremely corrosive. Which means? That means that when it rains, I don't get wet. Because the water evaporates off of me in about a split second. I could also spit a hole into this stone pretty easily. That sounds incredibly impressive. Oh, yes, it is. I once impressed a girl so much that she actually went down on a date with me. How did it go? Actually, quite well. But... When I get nervous, I tend to splutter. Oh, and how did she react? Oh, no. Oh, she completely dissolved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get it? Dissolved. <laughs> oh. Yikes. Okay. So, you spit deadly fluids while speaking. Sounds highly impractical. And how? You try meeting ladies as a gorf. Are female gorfs as hazardous as males? Nah, the problem is that they're far more poisonous. If two gorfs fall in love, they really intend to spend the rest of their lives together. How romantic. Yes, well, the rest of their lives isn't particularly long anymore. <laughs> Rough. Okay. Uh, let's talk about your claws. What's so dangerous about your claws? Well, let me put it like this. Actually, I can only move on sturdy rocks. On any other surface, I get stuck because my claws dig in. With time, this stone will also give way. I imagine that must be very exhausting. Ah, oh, it's not that bad. It keeps me fit. <laughs> it keeps me fit. Your claws really are sharp. Just looking at them makes my eyes tear up. Yes, and they're impractical. You can't imagine what happens when I have to scratch myself. Ouch. No, Yikes. yes, without intending anything of the sort. I cut my own flesh and start bleeding. You don't Aww. even want to know the damage my blood can do. Yeah, I really don't think I want to know. Oh. With those claws, you can't touch anything. Oh, I can indeed touch things. I simply can't do it without killing them. No handshakes for you. Okay. Well, let's keep talking about the danger here. So, you're dangerous. Yes. Dangerous is the wrong word. That would imply that you could actually survive my touch. I would describe myself as 100% lethal. Really? Yeah, seriously. High five? No. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. I think we're okay for now. Let's just take... Someone should keep an eye on you. That was an... Ooh. Don't look at me like that. You deserved it. Okay. What? 
Nothing to say. What? Okay. Smells like a slug that someone stepped on and then left in the sun. Okay. Now's not the time for a bu- What, can we be the Conroy puppet? That won't work. Okay. Um, can we put that in there? That won't help. Okay, can we put the hat in there? That won't help. Okay. Okay. Can we go? Oh. Um. Okay. We we have the gore. That's the. Okay. Can we give Conroy the gore? Do you still need that? I don't know yet. And I let it be. Okay. What about the helmet? I don't need a helmet. Okay. And I put it on myself. I... Okay. Oh, a hollow. Hmm, not Okay, nothing is on My there. hand doesn't fit in the hole. I could put my nose in. What if I put the funnel hat in that there? That could be fun. Okay. Gift marks. Wow, it's a wonder we survive. Okay. If I put it... Why should I do... Okay. If I kick it now, a fruit will... Yeah, but if you put the helmet on, then it won't. If I kick it now. But if you do that. I can't. Why not? My. Hmm, I could use the debris to build a house, but we could live in solitude and start our own family. Oh, that's sweet. A little weird, but sweet. I don't think that. Okay, let's. Hello. Hello, young friend. Okay, I guess. With pleasure. I always offer a helping hand to my fellow Esposian. Oh, only in a figurative sense. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be dead immediately. <laughs> you get it? Because everything I touch dies immediately. <laughs> wow. Yes, um, funny. So... Dangerous. Now, boy. Okay. You do nothing to help me. Okay. Let's look. Intruders will be shot. shot. Thank you for your. Okay. Can They're I? They're nailed down, and in fine print it says it's forbidden to remove. Okay. Attention. Okay. They're nailed down. Okay. I gotta be able to use something. See, disarm the traps. You could disarm the traps by activating them. To activate several traps, you need something massive and heavy. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Okay. At least you're good for something. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thorny bush paint. Okay. We do that? That won't help me. Okay. What if I do this? Why should I do? Okay. Tree. And this? That won't work. Okay. What if um, I stuck it in that hole? So, trap set up. Let the tumble mouse come. All right. Come on. Boo. Too hot. Okay. Let's scare it. I can't do that. Why not? Throw the helmet at it. Why should I do that? All right. I'm just going to be over here. Oh, look wow, at this. Wow, it's a wonder. I... Come on. Hi. Okay. 
now I have this really light, airy tumble mouse. Hold on tight. Padded funnel helmet. Oh, that's cute. Okay, give to you. Hey, come here. Robert, come here. Now we use that. No, no. Okay. What if we use it there? No, no. Okay, you have the little helmet. What about give it to the gorf? It won't work. But if you want to break it, go ahead and try it. Okay. Huge f If I kick it now. Okay, what if you put it on your head? Well, I... What if you put it on your head? No, no. Mmm. That won't work. Why not? Uh... Wow. That's just a... Okay. The traps. That won't help. Okay. Put it in the swamp. No. That's just... Put the puppet in the that trap. That won't help you. Okay. Okay. Look Huge at the fruits are hanging up there. Okay. They look heavy and solid. Maybe I shouldn't stand directly beneath the tree. If you put on the hat, you can. And it will not hurt you. No. Okay, put it there. No, no. Okay. Okay, what if debris? Why should I do I don't know, dude. I don't know. That won't help. That won't work. Smells like a s oh. That's just a random Well, I could Okay. Pick the tree. Hi. Brave helmet. You've done your duty. Nice. Okay. And we'll put the fruit in the traps. And Okay. Darn it. It's slipping out of my fingers. I can't throw it. Put it in. That could be fun. No, no. Okay. So it's slipping through your fingers. What if we washed it off? I can't do that. Okay. Can we roll it? Why should I do that? Can we use it to punch the debris? I can't. What if we made it little and give it to the gorf? I don't want to beat him to death. Very considerate of you. Okay. Okay. What if we got closer and put the trap there? You suck. Darn it, it's slipping out of... Okay. I don't think that will work. Okay. Huge fruits. If I kick it. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to the Hello, gorp again. It's me again. What a Can we? Can we? With those claws. Oh, I can indeed. Touch. I simply can. Okay. What if you touched that? Hmm. 
<laughs> Cute. It's got holes in it now. Okay, we got this. We got this. Ha, I showed those traps. Oh, Robert. Is there an explanation? Um, I disarmed the traps. Okay. Who's there? I just wanted... You're a wind monk. You're wearing wind guardians red. Yes. This fabric conceals bloodstains. Please, don't kill me. I didn't intend to break your trap. Answer truthfully. Are you a threat to the secrets of the root forest? No. No! I'm not dangerous. I'm the opposite. I'm... Undanger... Um... Conroy always told me... Conroy? I hate that rotten, devious, treacherous dwarf. If I ever meet that slippery, detestable, naked mole rat again, I'll kick his wrinkled ass until he can wear himself as a hat. Okay. What? No, I, I don't know him. I've never heard of him before. Well, I, I used to be his apprentice a long time ago, but that was probably more than an hour ago. You'll talk sooner or later. Oh, God. Hey, Flutnose, don't worry. I'll get you down. What was that? Alive? Okay, yes, alive. Okay. As long as Robert is trapped, you'll play as Laura. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Screaming ants. Almost scream ants. Seems to be uninhabited. I don't want to destroy it. Okay. There's a couple phosphases. There's Robert. A clothesline. I can't reach it. Okay. Wind monk. If I could reach him just a little. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, okay, let's go. Hey, hey, Robert, here, Laura. Man, I'm glad you're here. I can't feel my legs He's anymore. So cute. You kids get out of my thorns. Only to myself. <laughs> Hello, Robert. How are you? Please don't kill us. I have okay. to get him down from there. Flute Nose is slowly going crazy. Okay. Let's go back down to the root forest. Okay. Swampy swamp. Yep. It's, you can't see more than two centimeters. Let's talk to the gorf. Ew. There really are some disgusting creatures in this forest. Hey! These creatures happen to have ears. That's right. And feelings that can be hurt. You can Ooh. talk? What kind of funny animal are you? Excuse me. Your companion was a lot nicer than you, young lady. Besides, funny is the wrong word. Unless you find it amusing when a living creature dies a gruesome death. Depends who it is. Wow. Uh, let's talk about Pander. Do you happen to know anything about the crazy old guy who lives up in that tree? Oh, the old man that lured your husband into the trap. <laughs> he's not my husband, and yes. Well, he's a deranged wind monk. Very aggressive. You two would probably get on well. <laughs> Funny. I don't know much about him. He grumbles quietly to himself while setting up traps. Uh, he's almost deaf. And nearly blind since his glasses fell into okay. the swamp. So he's deaf? Okay. So if we whisper, maybe The lunatic is anything. a wind monk? That's not surprising. They can't be trusted. Are you talking to me? 
No, you can't trust a gorf either. Wow. All right, let's talk about the swamp. What a disgusting, stinky mud hole. Thanks. It's my home. It's no palace, but it's all mine. Holy crap, you live here? Absolutely. This area offers so many creative possibilities. How? Oh, a lot of stuff is sunken here. A vase, uh, an old pair of underwear, and uh, more arrows than I can count. I'm back by those stalks that look like fur leaves and that crazy tree guy's glasses. Oh. The old guy's glasses are in the swamp? Yes, glasses are commonly used for reading books. Do you know what a book is? Are you sure that you're a rational amphibian and not a threatened by extinction because you couldn't shut up amphibian? Trust me, contrary to you, I've studied. Okay. Are you sure the classes are by the fern back there? That's not a fern, those are arrows. The old man dropped his glasses and started shooting out of anger. Hey. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, let's talk about danger. What's so dangerous about you? I am to belong to the extremely dangerous species of gorfs. We belong to the family of rational amphibians. Which means? I've already explained this to your husband. Lethal poisons compose about 96% of my body. Except for this spot on my head. That's just really itchy. Did you just say husband? Yes! Yes! And that I could kill you at any moment. He's not my husband. What makes you think that? Hello! I'm a cold-blooded killer! I'm not married. And I have a dry spot on my head. We all have our problems. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's look at that girl spot. Dry spot. Yes, I have very sensitive oh, skin. Me too. It's like crazy and I can't scratch myself. But I've already told your husband this. Stop saying that. I've only known him for half an hour. Oh. Don't you think Marion was a little hasty then? <laughs> for the last time. He's, He's not, not my, my husband. husband. And if you say that one more time, that itchy spot on your head will be the least of your problems. Ooh, no reason to fly off the handle, young lady. I'm somewhat irritable because my head is itchy. Well, you rational amphibian, why don't you put something on it? What do you suggest? I don't know. Lotion? Lotion, please! I only use homeopathic remedies. Come on, you just made that word up. <clears throat> yeah, but overall, it's a good idea. For such a primitive being, you don't seem to be that stupid. Watch it. It puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Would you be in a better mood if that spot wasn't so itchy? I think so, but... I can't scratch myself. Would you mind? I'd rather stick my hand in boiling water. <laughs> Funny you say that. The effect would be about the same. Okay. Why don't you get some ointment or something? I can't leave this place! He's not my husband. My claws sink into nearly every hard surface and then I can barely move. But perhaps... You could possibly find a person selling makeup in this forest. Okay. Um, I think we have one more thing How with the swamp. How do you know where all the objects have sunken? Well, there's not much going on here. If something falls into the swamp, it's a memorable event. So you just sit here and look around all day? Well, the way you put it, it doesn't sound like a very inspiring activity. I just meant that it sounds really boring. Uh, I know. Oh, okay. Enough. I'll be going now. Oh, don't think I didn't notice the sensual tension between oh us. Oh my goodness! Wow. I actually feel too sick to puke. Wow, dude. Oh, box. Okay. 
Uh, there's the view. The world's getting darker and darker. Yeah. Gorf said a pair of glasses sank here. I wonder what else is hidden in the depth. Hey. There's a reed. Yes, I can feel the glasses just like the Gorf said I would, but I can't pull them out. Okay. Alright. Okay. What about over here? What good would that do? Should I? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? I don't know what I'm supposed to. I don't know what you're supposed to do to either, lady. Slowly but surely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about anything here? The debris? The aircraft will never be airborne again. Okay, but can you take anything? It's not usable anymore. Well, thanks, Sherlock. Okay. Okay. Ew! Okay, you don't want to push them. I get it, okay? I don't know what I'm... Okay, let's go back to the treehouse. Maybe there's something up here that I can use. Okay. Nope. Hey. Yeah. Robert, if you can hear me, give me a secret sign. Okay, what's the secret sign? I wanted to have someone to talk to, I would have caught a parrot. Laura, help! I'm sorry, I actually thought the rope would snap. And then what? I would have just fallen down. Yeah. Yes, but you would have fallen into the soft swamplands. Correct. Hmm. Hey, we get it. You're like super arrow happy. Don't you have any respect for a... No, not really. All right. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, we'll help Robert in due time. Um, he's just going to, you know, hang out for a little bit. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. My name is Lady Onassi, and have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye, guys.